And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip Girl. What's up? We got Gossip Girl. Season 5. Episode 23. The penultimate episode of the season. The Fugitives. This episode starts off the morning after Chuck discovered Bart discover discovering that Bart stole alive. He has tea with Bart, and Bart explains that the whole story of him faking his death. The car accident was not the car accident was real, but as he was but him dying wasn't. He was he was being threatened by, by a competitor who knew Bart had information about his illegal activity. He says the man made it clear that both Chuck and Chuck and Lily were fair game to be to be hurt, and they weren't empty threats. After the accident, he figured that it was best chance it was his best chance to disappear. After the loss, Deboer is de de debating on whether to text Chuck to see how he's doing, how he is. Dan's eating Alessandra, but that's when Dan's Alessandra call and he exposes Dan's little lie to blather about. Yep, there's there's no student and there was no student taking up Dan's position in in Rome. Yep. Yeah. Dan admits that he lied because he was worried about Blair leaving alone with the whole summer with Chuck. However, Blair assures him that he is only worried about and encourages him to get, go to the program. In her office, D Diana conducts damage con is conducting damage control over the, her party being cracked. Nick comes in and tells her that he wants her out by the, by the end of the day and turns to use the information about her as blackmail. Unfazed, Diana reminds him that she still is main financial backer, and she has worked a hard, long, long, hard time to make the paper a success. Plus, her side business is more of a figurehead. At, at, at the Waldorf, Blair's visit but tells Serena that about Dan lying to her about the program in Rome. Serena finally tells Blair that, yeah, she's gonna, finally admits to Blair that, yeah, Serena has been gossip girl. I can't ask gospel. Girl. But it's like, that's impossible. And Serena's like, no. Georgina left her in, ta in town. Since Georgina left town, she left her with a bunch of emails and a bunch of goth. She just hacked into the gospel Girl server. Yeah. Blair's. Yeah. Serena asks if Blair's mad. And Blair's like, no, she's not. She's upset that Serena didn't tell her because she and Serena could have been co gossip girls together. Yeah, literally, Blair's more mad that Serena didn't tell her because she could have helped her blast her friends and could have helped her blast her friends. They could have been go. They could have been co gossip girls together. Blair tells Serena that she thinks of something more useful for her to make it up, and Lee and Lee to run an errand at the house. Bart is Bart is at. He explains to Chuck that he, when he needed help, he contacted Diana through her influential contact throughout the world that could help him keep him hidden. And finally, they reveal this long-ending arc that it was Bart who gave Chuck the blood that saved his life. Not Jack, not Diana, Bart. I don't know why Lily thought it was Jack. Would she know what her husband looks like? And Diana was only doing it to protect Bart and Chuck. And we said it was her to protect Bart. So, yeah, we finally get to end, we finally get the end of this whole who really gave Chuck the blood storyline. It was Bart all along. I'm still confused why Lily thought it was Jack. Does she not know what her husband looked like? Was Bart, like, wearing a hat or something? Why did she think it was Jack? Was Bart wearing a hat that made him look like Jack? Lily's dumb. Like Lily, Lily doesn't even know what her own supposed to be dead husband looks like. Why'd you think it was Jack? If it was Bart the whole time, then why'd you think it was Jack? That's my question. And also, what about the ghost? Chuck was envisioning Bart's ghost. So, if that wasn't real, that wasn't Bart's ghost. Because Bart wasn't dead. They don't even explain this. They don't even explain how Bart, how Chuck could have saw Bart's ghost if Bart wasn't even dead the whole time. This, this confuses me. How could Lily confuse her deceased ex-husband for Jack 
when you know, she's supposedly dead husband for Jack, and how could, how did Chuck, how was Chuck even seeing Bart if Bart wasn't dead? Chuck says that he has so many things he wants to know, but he's upset when Bart informs him that due to the level of danger, he needs to leave, so does Chuck. The security exhorts Chuck, and Chuck says, after everything, after everything, you're just gonna kick me out? So Chuck goes to Andrew Tyler, his PI Andrew Tyler, and explains that he needs help information about a man after Bart before Bart died, but Bart didn't die, but still Andrew refuses to help, saying that it's a waste of both their time. After Walter, Chuck literally says that he could help him, that he could pay his money, but he could pay double his money, but Andrew isn't interested. So Chuck leaves. At the Waldorf, Dan arrives to surprise Blair with some news, but, but finds out with Serena that she's on an errand and not home. Outside the store she's at, Serena finds Chuck waiting for her outside. Just how he's doing, and Chuck replies, since he finds out someone's after Bart, it's his turn to save his father. He asks for her help, and Blair, knowing it's this time, it's, not, it's hard on Chuck not wanting to see his Dan, and not wanting to see Dan... After encouraging him to go to Rome, she decides to go. Serena calls Blair and tells her that Dan's waiting for her at home with Newt. Meanwhile, Blair is at Chuck's at the spectator to see Diana. Serena warns Blair that she should go she shouldn't keep Dan waiting because she was just talking about how he's having trust issues. Blair realizes she's right and decides to go home and see Dan Newt. Tells Chuck who has agreed to let her go but he's both and thanks her for helping him because he needs to see Diane on his own. Inside the office, Chuck begs Diane to help him keep Bart around. Diane asks if Bart knows he's there, and Chuck says no. Tells him that she'll help him out, but only if Chuck helps her. And what she wants is not a small request. At the Empire, Chuck, Chuck makes a serious phone call saying he wants to make an offer on something that has to be something that they can't refute. Swing her eyes and says that Blair sent her to check on Chuck. Sex, Chuck says that he doesn't need a babysitter. And Diana refuses herself to Serena. But Serena's not even there when we cut back to the Empire. So, yeah. Serena, yeah, Diana said she refuses herself to be there as well. Saying that Chuck already has one. Her. So, yeah. At the Walter, Blair arrives, arrives home and apologizes for keeping Dan waiting. He tells her that it's fine and presents her with a travel guide book for Rome. He explains that the rep in Rome agreed to let him bring Blair along all summer. And he explains... And he explains that's fine. Tells her that, yeah. He explains that he needs to meet up with an alumni from the program to be interviewed that day. And Blair speaks to it. At the Empire, Nate arrives home to find Diane there. He confronts her saying, like, what is she doing there? And Chuck says, bro, let, let's talk quietly. In her room, he never tells Chuck that he's working on a plan with Lola to get rid of her for good. Chuck replies that there's a newspaper in London that needs a facelift, and he bought it, and it's saying Diana there. He also says that he promised Nate will leave, let her leave without exposing her side profession and lets her keep her reputation intact. Chuck becomes very upset and asks where the justice and her gang, what she wants it. And Chuck replies that there is that there's ju there is justice, and he got Nate what he wanted for Diana to leave. In the dining area, Serena calls Blair, who explains that Dan's news was more amber that then the more more of an ambush and they invite her to Rome for the summer. But her that uh, after spending summer with Louis and Monaco, she kinda wants to do her own thing. Serena asks if she's sure she doesn't want to do it with Chuck and Blair, but her vaguely says no. Then Serena then Serena tells Peg Blair not not to tell what she's going on, not to tell her what's going on with everyone, but but Blair refuses saying it's not her secret to tell. Ah. After they hang up, Blair tells Dan that she decided she wants to go with him, and he goes to call the alumni to see when they can meet. Meanwhile, Lola arrives at the Empire and finds the angry Nate. He vents that Diana will be playing all the same games in London, and that there's nothing they can do to stop her. Lola says that they can remind Chuck that Chuck only said Nate can know her secret, but not anyone else. Not, but she she can't, but she could. Chuck may not be able to era. Chuck only said Nate couldn't. Out Diane's secret, but but not but she never said she couldn't. So outside, Diane asks Chuck if he's sure he wants to try to kill wants the man to try to kill Bart. 
Such as yes, and there Diana reveals there's a man named Mason Nevin, a big competitor of Bart, a, a man with big ties to an organization organized crime and now looking for twins. Chuck asks if he needs to know that, but Diane explains that two two of her girls are scheduled to meet me two of his girl two of her girls are scheduled to meet with him at four that afternoon and if someone were to catch him get proof, they would be very valuable blackmail material. Diane says the employee doing business with Chuck but then she receives a phone call from a friend. In New, in New York. Uh, on the New York Times. On the phone, Diane finds out that she's not as to that she's running a sex business. Which did, but we didn't, I didn't hear that. I just heard the anonymous tip. Diane realizes that she was betrayed and tells Chuck that the deal is off and leaves. As she goes, she catches the side of Nate and Lola sitting together. And makes Chuck realize that, yeah, they basically just ruined his deal. He confronts them and Lola says she started for ruining his business deal. But that their vendetta against Diane was personal. Chuck replies that they have no idea how personal and tells them including and Serena comes in and asks what's going on and Chuck and tells them that Bart is alive. It's still yeah, Bart is still alive. At the border, Blur tells tells Garo to lay out spread of Italian food for the rep. While he, while it's setting up, she gets text with Serena saying Chuck is in trouble and thinking fast, she just says she has to go get gelato. She has to go get gelato. Get they need gelato and you rush off to get it, but promises to be back in time. Back at the Empire, Nate and Serena asked why Bart never made any attempt to contact anyone, especially Lily. <clears throat> Chuck explains that Chuck explains Chuck explains that it was too risky and he was going and he was so close to finding out everything and when Lola ruined the plan. He worries that he may have come up with a new plan. In fact, when Blair arrives, they announce that they don't need a new plan, just new girl to be waiting. She always needs to keep Diana busy so it doesn't cancel the appointment and that they need to move quickly as they get an hour at the spectator. At the, at the spectator, at the spectator, only has an hour. At the spectator, Nate overhears Diana on the phone with Bart, telling him that they're leaving town sooner than scheduled together. He texts Chuck with a warning saying that Diana is about to leave town with Bart. Yeah, Chuck tells him to stall her. Meanwhile, Lola arrives at the Empire and announced with Ivy and announces that can pass as twins because they're both blondes, but they're not. Ivy isn't even blonde anymore. Her actress dyed her hair. Lola, what are you talking about? I like Lula, how can you pass off as twins when the person that you want to be twins with isn't even a blonde girl anymore? I guess for the plot they say that Ivy's still blonde, but she's not. Her actress dyed her hair red. How is she still a blonde? Anyway, Serena's peeved that says they don't need Ivy and that she can play Lola's twin. However, Blair has a different acting role in mind for Serena to play her. That Serena will act as Blair and pretend to be Dan to pretend to be Blair in front of the rep from Dan's program. At the Waldorf, Amelia arrives and is introduced to Dan by Dorota. He compliments Dan on inside and upon noticing all the food, asks how many people are coming. Dan tries to explain that Blair just wanted to get over the, go over the top, in fact getting gelato, which is why she isn't there. Suddenly Serena walks in and says, Hi, she's Blair Waldorf. During during the interview, she explains as Blair that, that she never really liked Dan in high school, but now they're lovers. Yeah, we saw that. Dan tries to assure Emilio that it's a very stable love and ensures that they make an interesting couple. He then excuses himself and Serena demands to know where Blair is. Serena tries to lie and say that, that she went to meet Eleanor and but knew how important this meeting was to Dan and says that she sent Serena. Meanwhile, at the hotel appointment, Ivy I, Blair is in the room with Ivy and Lola who are dressed like she lays out laundry and handcuffs for them and explains that, yeah, you ever wear what I tell you to or you get to wear the lingerie. So. She's been explained that they're going to get into a combined position. Then Chuck will burst in and take a picture. At the spectator, Nick goes to get a proper goodbye to Dan. Dan. He explains that. He explains that. He explains that Diana's New York Times contract is on her way now. And is interested in a story about her. And he made a copy about her. Over day planner and is willing to explain her code. 
Dating back to the Nazi saying that she could she couldn't go back to her old life and that while while she may have lied to him about a lot, she never lied about her feelings for him. She finishes her play by saying that she has no chance starting a new life with her name in the headline. After Walter, Amelia is leaving to finish his book. And he tells them that they, the meeting was just a formality and he said that they made a wonderful time in Rome. On his way out, Eleanor just happens to arrive. And she asks Serena how, how she and Jor and and Jorua jumps in, not wanting to blow Serena's cover. The dude says how Serena how Serena and El uh, Amelia says how Serena and Eleanor how Serena and Eleanor look alike. And yeah, how how he knows how Serena got her her picture her great looks from Eleanor. Realizing Eleanor came alone, Dan yeah, now Jorua jumps in saying Yes, so she asks how Serena is, and Jorah jumps in pretending to be Serena, saying, saying good. Not wanting to blow Serena's cover. Dan then realizes Eleanor came alone and asks where Blair is. Eleanor replies that she has no, she just, yeah, she has no idea where Blair even is. Making Dan realize that, yeah, Serena just lied to his face. So, back at the hotel, Ivy and Lola are waiting for Mason. They decide how to pose, and... When you arrive, and they were asking about their crazy acting days, classes, and how how who knows that when they were next class together, they'd be doing this, and they pretend to throw oranges at each other and have a good time because yeah. Then a knock comes on the door, and Andrew Tyler walks in, asks if they're dying in this girl. They begin their act, and Andrew quickly explains that Bart and everyone is in danger, and that Nevin's got wise to the plan, and Chuck wants everyone to regroup. At the house, Bart is hidden. The girls leave with Andrew. Downstairs, Bart asks Chuck why he didn't tell Andrew. And he didn't tell her that Andrew was taking pictures. Chuck confusedly asks why. Replies that he didn't send Andrew anywhere. And they go. And she says, hmm, then why was he leaving with Ivy and Lola? And they realize that, yeah, basically Andrew has kidnapped them. So, yeah, so they run upstairs to to find the room completely empty. Back in the water, Dan demands an answer from Serena. And she admits that Blair's with Chuck. But Dan, Dan needs to trust her. Dan explains that he, need, he told Blair he loved her and she didn't say it back. So it reminds him how many times she was burned by the word I love you. First Chuck took a year to say it and Louise said it too soon. But she, has, but she has to care about Dan. She finally breaks down and tells him, bro, Bart Bass is alive. And he's like, what the? So, yeah. At the house, Ivy and Lola and Andrew arrive looking for Bart, who's nowhere to be found. Before they go looking for Father, Andrew is grabbed by security and comes face to face with Bart, Chuck, and Blair. Chuck asks if they ask everyone to clear the room. Let, yeah, and and the security and Bart and well, Ivy and Lola leave. And it's left, and the room is left with Bart, Andrew, Blair, and Chuck. Blair, Bart reveals that Andrew was the last person he saw before he, the accident and coincidentally got out of the car right before it happened. Chuck and Blair reveal they figured out Nevins wasn't the one who wanted Bart dead. It was the P.I. Andrew Tyler. He explains that he was on assignment from Bart to gather intel on Nevin and then he find out and he found out a lot. However, Nevins found out and threatened Andrew's family, which is when Andrew decided to work with him over Bart. To prove his loyalty, he had to get Bart out of the way, and when he leaked where Bart was going to be in the car after his confession. After his confession, the police emerge and arrest Andrew when they leave with him in handcuffs. And I guess that's the end of Andrew Tyler on the show. He was a good character for all the scenes we had, but who knows the writers would basically put in a twist that he was a real villain. No wonder he tried to deny Chuck trying to find... No wonder he tried to deny Chuck when Chuck asked him to look for Mason, because he was working for Mason. Chuck, Chuck tells Bart how, now that the police know everything, Bart can stick around, and he embraces his father, but he, but he also asks him, what is he going to tell Lily? And Bart's like, yeah, he's going to have to think about that. He was like, he and Lily were on the rocks before, before his fake, before he faked his death. So it's going to, it's probably going to be a, well, it's probably going to be a process trying to explain to him that she basically, he basically lied to her and faked his death. I'm excited to see that in the finale next time.
So, after the spectator, Nate finally tells him the whole woman from Times is alive, but Nate instructs her to say that Diana has already left and, take, and took her day planner with her, revealing that he decided to let Diana go, let Diana go without exposing her. At the Waldorf, Blair arrives home and tells Serena that everything went good and Bart is alive and well. She thanks Serena for taking her in place. Taking her place and texts Dan saying they're going to Rome. Two girls say that they're that they love for each, that they love each other, and Serena tells Blair that maybe it's time for her to tell Dan how she feels. Blair admits that she's not ready because she wants to tell wants the wants the next person she says it to to be the last person. At at the house, Blair is, Blair is packing home to come home, and he tells Chuck, and he tells Chuck, and he shows his face, and that uh, now he can show his face again. He thanks Chuck for everything, saying that he took control and make him makes him think that he did something in raising him. And Chuck said that Bart barely raised him. Bart was barely into the women and stuff. Chuck sees the flow of them together in the past and says next step they can do it as a family is family fit there. He 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 has Kylie plans in Tongue Lily, which I just mentioned earlier without realizing it is on the scene. And Bart misses his and Lily's relationship on the well, his and Lily's and Chuck's relationship were on the rock, and maybe, maybe hiding was easier than facing the reality head on. Chuck jokingly suggests next time they try group therapy, they try family therapy, they try group therapy next time. At the Empire, Will asks how Diana got away. And, but then he says he has no idea, but that he's sure they probably won't see her again. As he's sit, settling in for bed, he receives a final text from Diana, thanking him for letting her leave. After all, Blair suggests her logic plans for Rome. Dan asks if he's sure he wants to come to Rome, since he knows Chuck's world would change deeply with the return of Bart. Blair assures him that she wants nothing more than spend the summer with Dan, and they share a moment. Before Dan realizes, Realize that yeah, someone better tell Rufus of Barb, someone better break news of Barb being alive to Rufus, and Blair begins researching restaurants this summer. At the Waldorf, Darula offers Serena tea and tells her that her eyes are smiling again. Serena tells her that she can see smiling in her eyes again. She she tells her that she's happy she's away from her computer, and that she can focus on her friend. That she's happy that she got her friend and her family back. But then, but then a different gossip girl comes in, with with saying, saying that yeah, she was she was hot. Gossip girl said that she was hot, that she was easy on Blair and Serena. But this time she won't be, and she reveals that yeah, she got she got a page from Blair's diary, saying that she can't take the feeling that Dan's about to tell him, tell her he loves her, and if he does. And the episode finishes with revealing that Gossip Girl has Blair's diary because Serena gave it to her. Ending the episode. So, yeah. Don't know how Serena gave Blair's diary, a page of Blair's diary to Gossip Girl. Well, Serena was just talking about how she wanted her friends back. But then she goes and pulls something like this. Wow, Serena, you are basically doing everything in your power to alienate your friends. First, you say you, you're glad to have them back, but then you send a tip into Gossip Girl with Blair's diary, basically further destroying your relationship with them again. Serena is doing everything in your power to destroy her friendships. That's who she is. So, Barthel, so I wonder how Lily will find, will, will basically come to realization that her dead husband is not dead. And that even, that he basically faked his death by having the, near, the doctor the doctors hook him up, but then when everyone to make to switch everything off to make him look like he was dead, but then he was able to tell. So yeah, I guess that scene and I guess that scene in the Debari where we saw his death. We even see it at the start of this episode where they show the scene again with Chuck looking at with Chuck looking at Bart's dead body, but it's revealed that yeah, that was all fake. The doctors intentionally did that to make Chuck look like he was dead so Bart could escape. 
So, yeah. Next, we got the finale for the season titled Return of the Ring. So, yeah. I guess Blair will confront Serena. How will Lily find out to the fact that Bart, Bart, Bart's not dead? How did Bart, how did Lily confuse Bart for Jack? And how did, and what was up with Bart's ghost? If Bart wasn't dead the whole time, then why was Bart chucking his ghost in season three or four? In season four, three or four. Season three, yeah. Why was he seeing his, why was, in season three, why was he seeing his, why was Bart's, in season three, why was Chuck seeing Bart's go? If Bart wasn't dead. But anyway, I'll see you next time for the finale of the season titled Return of the Ring. And then after that, we have the final season. Oh, sad. We're, ne we are, we are next, next time we have the last season of Gossip Girl season six. Season six. And that show only has ten episodes, so sad that we will be almost done the show. Don't know what I'm going to do next. I plan on probably doing you, Penn Badger, the other show. Don't know what I'm going to do, Gossip Girl, the reboot. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I do plan on doing you. I do plan on doing that show because I'm currently watching it, and I'd love to do a review series for you, the, the other show that stars Dan Zagger, Penn Badger. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time for Season 5, Episode 23, Episode 24, the season finale, Return of the Ring. See you next time.